how did the Apollo Bay Seafood Festival come into being? Well, in 2011, the Great Ocean Road was closed because of flood damage and uh, Tourism Victoria and the state government gave us some flood relief money and asked us to, um, to present to them a proposal um, to get visitors back down the Great Ocean Road. So we had a seafood strategy and it ran for 12 months through all the restaurants in Apollo Bay and Port Campbell. And it was basically promoting Apollo Bay and Port Campbell as places to come for seafood. Um, and we thought that a seafood festival would be a really great way to promote that more broadly. So we um, got together a team of girls and um, decided to put our first one on. We've been very careful just to keep it local, so we try to have as many local producers as we possibly can. Where there's gaps, we'll bring people in, like the Flying Calamari Brothers, because whilst we've got squid here in the harbour, we don't have the quantities that are required to feed the number of people that come to the seafood festival. But most of the producers and people that um, have stalls actually live in the region. It was a great success in 2012. We had about two and a half thousand patrons, and last year we had about four and a half thousand. So the word has got around, and we're expecting this year to be as big, if not bigger. My name is Katrina, and I do all the PR and marketing for the Seafood Festival. So, really uh, getting the word out in any way possible, whether that's through radio, TV, or sort of social media. When is the Seafood Festival? So 22nd of February, so we're starting to see a lot more bookings now in terms of accommodation. People that are using it as an opportunity to come down on the Friday night to, to be ready for the Saturday and to recover on the Sunday. All the chefs um, prepare enough food and it goes out into the audience. So last year we had fresh abalone, which you know most people obviously have never tried before and that was prepared and sampled by many. So we know of people who actually get in early and they basically hold their seats all day. So key is to get in early I think and uh, make a day of it. We encourage people as well to sort of bring a picnic blanket and really sample the wares of all the local um, stall holders that we'll have there as well. So a great day for sort of seafood and also for our, um, vegetarians as well. We have the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Program on board again this year so for vegetarians there's an opportunity to learn some new recipes hopefully as well. Well from 10 o'clock in the morning we have our official opening and from then we go straight into live cooking demonstrations. So the, the guys from the fishing co-op always kick off the festival and we tend to always finish with a local fisherman and there's lots of sort of interesting and unique surprises in between. So cooking demos all day and uh, in between we've got all of our live music from the Apollo Bay Music Festival. So it's a really great combination of great food, great music and Things you have are the food you disdain. Try to show a little gratitude. Don't let this world get up on top of you. Hey, oh.